What is treatment-related or therapy-related AML, so-called TAML? So treatment-related AML is just that. It is uh, AML, or acute myeloid leukemia, that arises in patients who have been treated for other malignancies. And we know there are certain malignancies uh, that where we use specific uh, antineoplastic agents or chemotherapeutic agents that lend themselves to damaging uh, the cells that lead to the AML. So for example, uh, patients with uh, lymphoma, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, patients with breast cancer, uh, patients with ovarian cancer, and now more uh, patients with other diseases such as esophageal cancer, gastric cancers. And it's related to the type of drugs that are being used. So we know that there are, there are a class of drugs called alkylating agents, which are commonly used across those types of malignancies. Uh, also, what are called topo-2 inhibitors or certain anthracyclines, and these drugs uh, lend themselves to this damaging those cells. Interestingly, they appear at different times. So there are some of these agents where you see the AML uh, can arise even two or three years after people have completed their therapy for that other malignancy and a second group where it can happen much later, um, anywhere from five, seven, even 10 years after they've completed the treatment for their other malignancy.